So you may have seen this by the way that happened last night. The longest moon eclipse this century took place on Friday night as sky gazers across the entire globe there were treated to a thrilling spectacle. It was possible to observe the rare display with the naked eye unlike the solar eclipse where protective eye gear is also required there. For about half of the world the moon was partly or even fully not covered for about 6 hours to 14 minutes in total. Amateur astronomers in the Southern Hemisphere were best placed to enjoy the lunar eclipse, especially those in Southern Africa, Australia, India and Madagascar, though it was also partly visible in Europe and South America. At the Lake Magadi, a high-powered telescope was set up for the local community to watch the event. Because when I was young, I, I was wondering how, how was the, the moon be there, how was... How was the sun approaching? Now, like now I wanted to know more about it the sun and also the moon. Fall. It's important for us to understand this outer world so that we can understand what you can, how we can protect our own planet. As unique as it is, we are not doing good things to protect it. Similarly, eager observers who had assembled on cliffs and beaches in the English county of Dorset were left in the dark due to an overcast sky. When the Earth, Sun and Moon are perfectly lined up, the Earth's atmosphere scatters blue light from the Sun while bending red light onto the Moon, usually giving it a rosy blush. However, astronomers say the color can vary greatly depending partly on how cloudy or transparent those parts of the Earth's atmosphere are, which enables sunlight to reach the Moon. Melmiendo, NTV.